reasons. Canterbury Police are still hunting for Christchurch man William Stewart, who has been on the run now for 10 weeks. Just after 7 this morning, a blue 1992 Mitsubishi Pajero was stolen from the Mount Summers area where Stewart was last seen. Police would like to hear from anyone who may have seen this vehicle. Registration number CAD 947. An exhibition commemorating New Zealand soldiers who lost their lives in one of World War I's most devastating battles opened yesterday at our city Ototahi. The delegation is here as part of a twin region arrangement with the Waimakariri district and we're at the exhibition to commemorate the sacrifices made by New Zealanders. 12th October was the worst military disaster ever for New Zealand army. They lost 2,700 men and less than four hours more than 800 died the same day, a hundred other died the day after. Two days later they were still uh, on the battlefield and even two days after those two days, four days later, the last man wounded was brought out of the front line. So it means a lot for New Zealand and unfortunately that history is not known. Not in Belgium and not in New Zealand. I think your real Anzac Day is 12 of October 1970. The exhibition aims to educate New Zealanders as well as Belgians about the conflict. We want to tell the truth uh, to the people. Our people, uh, we learn in our history lessons about the British and the French and the Belgian soldiers, but never about the soldiers who came from the uttermost end of the earth, 20,000 kilometres. I have a little bit of a jet lag after 36 hours, but they did seven weeks to travel uh, to the Western Front. And sometimes not to be come back. The delegation will take part in our Anzac Day commemorations, and the visit has been valuable for everyone involved. It's bringing to our understanding and attention that uh, they are ever grateful for what our men fought for uh, on their behalf. We, of course, have got no understanding, really, of having lived in the country invaded by a war and armies and fighting, um, just as they uh, have some difficulty understanding why our young men travelled halfway around the world to fight alongside them uh, for freedom. So it's been, it's been a great experience, and uh, the relationship is growing ever and ever stronger. Passchendaele, the Belgians have not forgotten, is on our city Ototahi until May the 30th.